need to get defense. That's that's all there is, man. Like we need to get defense. Uh, at this point, I don't care what it takes. Get defense, cause Mark Stahl is not cutting it. I mean, really, I can't just blame Mark Stahl, but he's a big problem. But on that on that goal they gave the Maple Leafs the lead, Lidstrom should have been over on that left side covering, or somebody should have been over on that left side covering. And just past Marit Sider, there's not much. I mean, Lidstrom could become good one day. Ronick could be very good one day. Letty's okay. Osterley played good today. I mean, when when we dominate time of possession, when we when we possess the puck a lot, that's when we score. That's when we play well, when we dominate time of possession with the puck. Whenever we start letting the other team have a lot of time of possession with the puck, that is when we start losing. And when we miss assignments, it's always because someone forgot to cover a side. It's always because we either forgot to cover the left side or the right side, or we didn't pick up this guy coming in. Someone left their zone to pick up someone else when they shouldn't have because they're stupid, like... It's just always something stupid with this team that lets us lose. And we really need to win because we need these points. This team never ceases to disappoint me. Consistently. And always. I mean, Nijelkovic did a good job. It's hard to to be a good goalie when you're constantly, um, like, you can't get over that fast. It's just the defense isn't giving him enough time. Any, you could put any goalie in net for the Red Wings and they wouldn't be doing as good of a job as Ned is doing right now because Ned's doing a great job and just the rest of the team is sucking really, really badly. I mean, offensively, we were fine. We played well. But just defensively was atrocious. I mean, we, we know what makes us win. And we know what makes us lose. And Blashill seems to disregard all of it. it. It doesn't matter to him, apparently. That's what it seems like. Or else... He'd be trying to help us do things that would, like, he'd be telling them, keep possession of the puck, get shots on net, stuff like that. We, we need to trade for some defense. DeKaiser was out of the lineup today, and we saw how good that was. DeKaiser was out, and we played better defense. Defense was bad, but it showed signs of being good. In the first and second periods, the defense was fine. And then in the third period, the defense fell to crap. But in the first and second periods, the defense was good without Danny DeKaiser. Jordan Osterley filled in and played way better than Danny DeKaiser has this past season. So I really think if we get rid of Stahl too, get rid of DeKaiser and get rid of Stahl and bring in good defenders who can give us some depth, and you've got yourself a decent defense who can at least give Nijelkovic some, some more help and prevent stuff like this from happening. Because stuff like this is going to lose us games, and it is. It is consistently losing us games. We, we aren't going to get... Um, we aren't going to get Simon Edvinson uh, until a few years from now. We might... He's not a defender, but we might get Jonathan Bergerin next year, and maybe even later this season. He's playing pretty well. A lot of our defensive prospects we aren't going to get for the next few years, so we need to find something now. I get Iserman wants to be patient, but come on, we have a chance to make the playoffs. 
we have a, a legitimate chance that we can just get a few more pieces. And these pieces aren't going to stop us from winning in the future either because we still have a lot of talent. Come on, just bring in something. Bring in a defenseman. Bring in a new defenseman. You can patch, package Grice, DeKaiser, and Stahl for something. For something nice. For something good. We are getting Troy Stetcher back in a little bit, and he will be a much-needed improvement on the defense. But still, we need another piece. You can package Grice, DeKaiser, and Stahl for something. You got freaking Jakob Vrana for um, Anthony Mantha. You can find another trade like that. I know Stevie can. We all know Stevie can. You got Alex Nezelkovic for um, Jonathan Bernier in like a second or third round pick. We can, he can make a deal work where we get a good defender. We know he can make a deal work. It can happen. I just, man, it's tough right now. See you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And I noticed my uh, fight breakdown there with Moritz got a lot of views. For me and I think I might make a few more of those fight breakdowns because people seem to enjoy them I mean there's a scuffle today with the Maple Leafs and once the sting of this uh, loss goes away I can probably go back and watch it obviously Giovanni Smith's gonna get in some more fights this year because it's Giovanni Smith I think there will be plenty of fights for me to break down in the future so look out for those videos because if I can find if I can find video evidence of, of these fights, I will break them down and I will make a video on them because it seems like people want that. And I am a man of the people because it gives me exposure, which helps the channel and helps me put out better content. So I will see you guys next time. And I'm not making a video on that Pacers game because that was trash. Just got unlucky with on a few plays tonight, you know? One of those one of those plays, I thought he was standing still. But he just hit the shit out of that one guy, and the guy went flying. They blew the whistle, and they called it on him.